Hello you two people, this is Carrier Comfort Pro, my S unit PC6012, I guess it's a couple different units, it's PC6000 and a couple new ones, my S2014, and um, I got a problem, I got an issue with no power, so before you guys start, you know, do any panics about your generator, first you have to guys look for all fuses, like you guys know, there's two fuses in the back of the, you know, the engine, water engine. And also this is one main breaker, circle breaker. It's right here in the bottom of the unit. It's 35 amps. And uh, they can give you some problems. The problems, they can be no power, they can be tripped. So if this trip, you have to push the red button inside and uh, you automatically, you know, it's like you give it the power to the, to the unit, to your trip back. But sometimes it doesn't work. So like you guys see, I replace uh, my capacitor. It's up, up there, new one. Because I have a two weeks ago problem with uh, power that was on and off, on and off, on and off. So how do you guys test that, you know, the generator, make sure generator is good. So what you guys do, you guys need a voltage meter, any kind of voltage meter, you know, like this one right here, I got from Radio Shack, the old one, and you got two terminals. So what you do, you fire up your APU power, on, APU is running, and then make sure you guys attach one of the end of the you know the tester you attach to your body chassis another one to the breaker there's two legs over here one here one in the back uh this is the old one i'm gonna show you how the old one looks so this is two legs so you test it if you got no power and both so it can be capacitor or can be generator so before you guys purchase any generators, you have to guys replace capacitor. Capacitor is around $75. The circle breaker is around $40. $40. So what you guys do, first you guys replace capacitor. When you guys replace capacitor, you do the same thing. You check the legs. You fire up APU, you check the first leg and second leg. If you got power, you got power inside the in the car and your sleeper so you know you trip are gonna work you're gonna got AC and heat but if it doesn't work and you check the you know the this circuit breaker and you got power and one one of those legs is missing you know this circuit breaker is bad this is like regular fuse if you fuse if the fuse blow up you see the wire inside is broken is cracked so you you got no power go to the circuit breaker so you have to replace this and after this when you replace it you get power inside in a sleeper heat and ac and i'm going to show you parts number the parts number you know the capacitor is way right here that's the capacitor and also i'm going to show you the circle breaker that's the parts it's very simple to do nothing major you need the 516 small little wrench to take it out and uh, highland keys that's why you need and a tester that's why you need good luck guys thumbs up